guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. Just a quick after-match reaction to Republic of Ireland's 3-0 victory in Azerbaijan in Baku this evening. And um, look, delighted with the win, personally, uh, to go there and get three goals and not concede. Fantastic stuff. Um, really, really good performance, I have to say, all round, uh, from goalkeeper to forward. Really, really impressed with the performance. We could have had a few more goals, to be honest with you. And uh, really racked up a big score, but very, very creative, very good in the counter attack. We changed it up a little bit. Uh, we had possession when we needed to. We countered when we needed to as well. And we've more players, I suppose, who could play counter attack in football, I guess, as well. I think that's the big thing as well. But uh, obviously, we'll start off with the first half. We made a cracking start in the first 10 minutes or so. We took the lead after seven minutes through a brilliant strike from Callum Robinson, was left foot. And you could see in the first 10 minutes, um, or even for seven minutes before that goal itself, that Horgan, Robinson and Ida were, had a lot of space. They were changing position. They were going from left to right to centre. It was a very fluid front three. And uh, we deservedly took the lead, to be fair, after seven minutes of crack and strike as well. You know, we've been missing people who can score goals, basically. So Robinson took that goal brilliantly. Um... After that, I thought Azerbaijan, to be fair to them, reacted very, very well in the football match. I think um, they came into it more. We, there was a lot of space in midfield for them to get through. Hendrick and Cullum were struggling a little bit, but mainly because we were a little outnumbered, I think. But we were still always a threat on that counter-attack. And as I said, any time we got a forward, it was nearly a three-and-three three situation at times. Um, but yeah, they did react well. They did a lot of long shots, though. You know, I think that seven attempts to three in the first half an hour or something. They were all long shots, like rushed long shots from good distance. And we weren't really troubled. I think there was one situation where they had a decent opportunity that they kind of messed up, to be fair, when uh, Corgan actually gave the ball away and um, they broke from it. But we started off the second half like a house on fire again, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, how we didn't actually score again until the last couple of minutes through Ogbené who uh, headed it to the net uh, Robinson actually put the keeper off uh, which aided Ogbené there but anyway uh, we had a number of chances um, we had an opportunity where McLean ran through and all he has to do is get his head up and lay it across to Adam Eda on a plate and he probably taps it in but um, McLean doesn't look up and takes a shot when it wasn't really on uh, Doherty had a chance Duffy had two chances uh, one brilliantly saved later uh, another one you'd expect Duffy to score, actually, a header which just went wider over. Um, that was earlier in the half. We just had a lot of opportunities there. As I mentioned, Dotter did an opportunity, probably should have scored. And I know the headline or the thumbnail says clinical Callum, but he was clinical when he had to be in the first half when we needed two goals. Second half, he'll be disappointed he didn't get a hat-trick. He had a number of opportunities to score a hat-trick in that second half. And, uh, you know, even at the end, Troy Paris has a great chance as well. But it's great to see. We created an awful lot of opportunities in that second half and at least we're 2-0 up. If it was nil-nil, we might have got a bit desperate. So, um, you know, it was vital we put ourselves in a situation at half time to be at least ahead in the game. And as I said, we we're lucky to be 2-0 up. But in the second half, yeah, a lot of chances. Nice fluid football, great on the counter-attack. We had the players as well to play that way. Uh, Jamie McGrath, as I said, came on for Horgan. I thought he did very well. Just... um. You know, he might be as electric as Horgan, but I just thought he was a bit more aware and a bit more, I don't know, use his head. Um, you know, didn't give the ball away much and uh, head up and, you know, played with the players in good positions and things like that. It looks very simple when it's done. When it's not done, it doesn't. But, um, you know, he'll be disappointed, Robinson, I think, not to get his hat-trick, to be honest. He'll be disappointed with that. But ultimately... You know, Azerbaijan themselves in the second half, they had two proper chances, I would say. The one that hit the bar... The penalty incident, forget about that. I mean, it's never a penalty. I mean, um, they've checked it a few times, but no, I mean, he's pulling Doherty. Hits his hand, but he's been fouled, you know, never a penalty. So, um, but that, yeah, the one good chance, Bazoon actually saves it, tips off the bar, and the other chance was right at the end after we were 3 0 up, or was it 2 0 at the time? Can't fully remember. That's the thing with these after match reactions, guys, just instant, so your head's all over the place a bit, but, um, but yeah, I think Bazuna gets there, but I think Duffy actually clears it off the line, to be fair. I think it probably beats Bazuna. But uh, again, Bazuna looked very composed, didn't he, uh, in the game? Uh, good on the ball. Um, you know, good early. And obviously, when he was called into action, he saved what he had to do. Um, 
you know, McLean, Doherty were pretty decent at full back, wing back. Um, McLean's decision making questionable, of course, the final third, but played quite well. The back three played reasonably well. Uh, Egan led by example. Duffy will be disappointed, as I said, with himself that he didn't score. I'm Obama Dele. Again, doing very well as well. The midfield too done okay. Hendrick and, and Cullen. I did take it in the first half at times. Uh, Azerbaijan did get through the middle a little bit easily, but that's what happens when you play that system as well with two in midfield like that as well at times. So, you know, that's to be expected. Um, and the front three were, I thought I'd have done fairly well considering he should have had a goal if McLean plays. I mean, Robinson was obviously excellent. Uh, Horgan, I did take, struggled, and I wasn't surprised when he was hauled off from McGrath. And, um, you know, the second half, I thought, you know, we could have easily sat back in the second half. I kind of half expected it. Now, I know Azerbaijan had more possession in the second half, but any chance we tried to counter and we created, as I said, a number of chances. We must have created five or six really good chances in that second half. We'll be a little disappointed we didn't take one. But let's be honest, we won the game 3-0 out in Baku and we would have taken 1-0, I think, all day. And um, look, it's the type of football I like to see us playing. We're not going to win every match. We've lost matches playing decent football. But I was listening to Stephen O'Donnell actually on News Talk earlier on the day, and he was making some points that I made myself previously. He was saying the fact that uh, okay, results aren't there. We need to get results. He understands that, but you know we're playing in such a way that's a bit more enjoyable than it has been for years. I don't want to see us come back to that. Uh, old style of football that we've been playing and often with better players as well so it is refreshing but when you get a result it obviously makes it better makes it all worthwhile and it's lucky 13 really for Stephen Kenny 13 months in charge his 13th competitive game and his first win and it's a big win as well it's a good win uh, Portugal or Serbia are taking a 3 nil away to Azerbaijan all day long so you know you can see I said it before I was actually confident going into this game as well in which I'm not always confident going into the Irish games but the one thing that has always stood out for me is that the players clearly believe in what the manager is trying to do. That is clear. You can see it in the pitch. There's no not, uh, not tracking back, slacking. You just know sometimes the body language of players as well. And that's clear. And anytime that's the case, I think it's worthwhile. And um, I'm absolutely delighted to win. There'll be some people saying, ah, we only beat Azerbaijan. But look, guys, we didn't beat them before. Uh, you know what I mean? They're the whipping boys, so-called whipping boys in, in international football as well. Um, are less and less these days. You see it um, because there's a structure in a, a lot of these countries, including Azerbaijan. They're not quite as bad as they used to be. So you see less of that on the international stage, I think, now as well. So look, I'm absolutely delighted with the performance. I'm delighted for the players. I'm delighted for Kenny. I'm delighted as an Irishman that we won the game and we won it in style. We played some lovely football and I really enjoyed watching it. Um, so guys, let me know what you think of the comments. Happy with the win, uh, happy with the performance, happy with the style of play, uh, any negatives, uh, mention them as well. And, um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, um, hit your bell notification button as well. That keeps you updated with any videos we upload. And, um, Click that like button as well. It only takes two seconds. Uh, it just improves the YouTube algorithm as well. And uh, enjoy your night. See you later, guys. Olé, 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 olé.